Hey guys, and welcome back to another FM22 transfer guide with me, Axel FM, where today we are looking at three signings and three sales for Wolverhampton Wanderers, also known as Wolves. I mean, everyone calls them Wolves, realistically. A side that have recently, well, sort of recently, been promoted back into the Premier League after a number of years down in the Championship and even down in the League One at one point, but they are now well and truly a powerhouse in the Premier League, not looking like they'll be going down anytime soon based off the intelligent signings and intelligent sales that they have made, but we're going to make some even more intelligent signings and intelligent sales to try and improve them even more, get them higher than the seventh place position that they managed twice in a row and potentially even win a Premier League title at some point in the future. So if you are excited for that, please make sure you do smash the like button as well as subscribing to the Rex or Theme YouTube channel. Can you please also do me a huge favor and check out my Bayern Munich save after this video because you know you need to watch this video to the end but then watch the Bayern Munich episode one it's just come out it's going to be a great series I know a lot of you just watch my content for the transfer guides but please go try that out let's play series gonna be a lot of fun hopefully you do enjoy it but for now let's take a look at what the Wolverhampton Wanderers well the Wolves bo board want you to do first of all they want you to sign Portuguese players and I actually rate that instruction very highly next of all they want you to sign high reputation players entertaining football and develop players using the club's youth system work within the wage budget finish top half of the Premier League fifth round of the FA Cup fourth round of the Carabao Cup and qualify for the Euro Cup 2 next year so they do eventually want you to start getting into that European football competition and then being recognized as the best of the rest. So and they do at least have steps in place, probably not as accelerated as you would want, but you know, it's giving you a lot of leeway. And to be fair, with the budget they're giving you of four million pounds, it's fair enough that they're not giving you too much of a high expectation. Although 100% of the transfer revenue that you bring in is going straight back into that budget. And I think that with a couple of intelligent sales, we can build up some decent funds to be able to make some decent signings. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Let's go out. Let's make some sales so that we can't sign some gems. The first player that we're going to be selling is Marcel, a Brazilian left back who actually has enough about him to be a really good rotation option for the side. However, based off the fact that he was only brought in for £1.8 million last year with 13 appearances under his belt, it shows that he's maybe not at the top quality and with a value of 1.6 to 3.4 it's enough to justify getting rid of him especially when new signings new developments in the world of wolves have led to him being sort of not that necessary eight nori don't think i'm saying that right but a young french left back just been brought in definitely the better of the two options and with johnny of course being the main player at left back and has been for quite some time I don't see any reason why you would need Marcel in the club anymore. At 32 years of age, he's getting on. I don't think I need to say much more. It's intelligent to sell him. In this save, he's gone back to Brazil for just 1.6 million pounds. Now, that's not a huge amount of money, but it is enough money to help us go toward, help go towards, sorry, another really good signing. And that 30,000 pounds per week is going to be super helpful and going towards the wages of that future signing. So I think... For one of the players that we weren't going to use very much, not necessary in the team, getting that amount of money, not too bad at all, and we can reinvest that. The next player that we're selling is again another one that probably could find a way to weasel with its way into a bit of first team football. 23 year old goalkeeper Mataja Sarkic. I definitely haven't said that right, but he has been sold, so, you know, for this save, it probably wouldn't matter all that much if I can't say his name. He's got a value of 3.2 to 4.6 million pounds, which is a decent amount for someone of his age, but with only three, sorry, two and a half star potential ability, he's not ever going to really be a starting player for you, and it's the same situation as the Marcel one. Because we already have two really good goalkeepers ahead of him, he's the third choice, and he's not going to get much better. There's no point in really keeping him around. John Ruddy is a decent rotation option, obviously getting on a lot more, but I'd rather cash in on a youngster rather than uh, cashing in on a less expensive to sell John Ruddy. Obviously, Jose Sarr is going to be our starting goalkeeper and uh, the man that we want to sell down here. He's nowhere near his ability. So while we can, while he's young, while he has got a bit of hype around him, I think it is the best choice to sell this Montenegrin goalkeeper. 
in this save I've managed to sell him to New York City FC going to the States but we've only got 1.4 million pounds for him not the best fee of all time but you got to take what you can get sometimes and that is all I could get unfortunately happy to be rid of him though and I think you're all thinking right now what is Rack so up to he's selling fair enough players to sell intelligent players to sell but he's not brought in a lot of bank you know 1.4 here 1.6 there 3 million on top of the 4 million he's got 7 million pounds to buy three players boys and girls you think this was the first sale i made this was the final sale the first sale i made was the big money sale and that player is willy bolly this man is the biggest no-brainer i've ever seen in three signings and three sales to sell and that is a little harsh and a little controversial considering the fact that he is a very good center back he has the ability to start for our team absolutely but at 30 years of age only having three star current ability being considered a decent premier league center back how on earth does he have this value if you can get anywhere near that value sell him sell him for that value obviously i'm aware that we're probably not going to get that amount from but even if we could get half of that 15 million pounds is an incredible amount of money to get for this aging center back who can i just say is not even going to be starting for us i mean you could totally justify starting them but you've got cody you've got dendonka you've got kilman who is slightly worse but younger actually able to progress in the future i don't know why you'd be selling this man i'd say he's your third fourth choice maybe center back if you're preferring say yes actually i definitely argue that say he's could be a better center back than him so why are you keeping him around when he is worth that amount of money 30 years of age not even that good of a player with 30 million pounds you just gotta sell him for the money in this save he has gone over to Shakhtar and somehow gone up in value after we have sold him for 16.5 million pounds it is not the massive amount that we could have potentially gotten but boy oh boy it is a lot of money for us that is putting our total to 23 million pounds worth of transfer budget and we can do a lot of damage with that willy bolly mate i'm so happy that we have found you i'm so happy that we have sold you we can now bring in better players but where do we need to improve let's take a look now with those sales made obviously we haven't affected the best 11 too much but this is what it is looking like with Jimenez, Pondence, Traore you can you can see the players I don't need to go through it there is clearly a well-rounded team in here but as we go to my favorite screen squad depth screen we can see some gaps the first of which not really being the striker position actually with Jimenez and Huang He Chang it's actually pretty well-rounded just with those two but with players like Catrone, uh, Neto and also a couple of other players here and there like Fabio Silva coming through the ranks turning into how oh, could I not mention him turning into one of the best players in the world you definitely don't need a new striker you're fine there left wing right wing on the other hand a little less secure you know you got Pondence, Neto, Neto, Pondence, Trincao and that's kind of it I mean the other players that you can play out there aren't quite as good or aren't quite at that natural position stage for that spot i mean jaquino i don't think i'm saying that right jaquino is not bad but doesn't quite have that pizzazz of fabio silva and on that left hand side he's also the only other option so for me i think getting another left wing right wing option is a really good idea to help solidify this team as one of the best squad depth teams in the premier league in terms of your centre mid options obviously Martino, neves and someone else is going to be starting in there but who that someone else is going to be is already i think an issue because dendonka could be your center back uh, even if you're playing with a cam formation there's no real cam that you're not going to be stealing from the wingers so central midfielder it just needs to be done needs to be improved upon get a new center mid in right back you're fine with Samedo, johnny and hover who can all do decent jobs there hover's not ideal to be starting but he can do a job it's not too bad right now could be one to look at for the future left back you're fine with johnny nori and totty center back and left back option don't mind that at all center back also looking okay Aside from the fact that we have sold Bolly, I don't know why I said we were okay, because we're not okay, we sold Bolly. So we only have Connor Cody, Dendonka, who we've already established might be more of a central midfielder. So we're going to take him out of the equation. So Cody, Kilman, Johnny who's a left back, Saiz, Totti, and Mosquera. Okay, so we basically just got Cody, 
Kilman and Saiz is what I'm really going to say. I and Toshi, to be nice. Four average centre backs. Cody being the one real standout star of the lot. But not a lot of youth, not a lot of ability. I think there needs to be one more centre back in there to help create some competition and actually be a lockdown starter next to Cody. And goalkeeper, you're fine. Going over there again, left, right winger, as well as a central midfielder, centre back, everywhere else, you're looking okay. Maybe a right back for the future. But for now, we're going to go out, see who we can find, sign some players. This is everyone's favourite part. The first player that we've bought in has actually solved two issues, and I didn't even realise he did. It's Chancel and Bimba, the man on the thumbnail, as long as I can actually find an image for him, because I'm not sure there'll be too ma that many. But, you know, Chancel and Bimba is the first player we're talking about. He's our right-back slash centre-back option. For me, he's more of the centre-back option, going down, locked in, next to Connor Cody. Three-and-a-half star current ability, 22 to 24 million pounds worth of value, 26 years of age, able to actually improve in some ways, because of that age and he comes in for just 6.75 million pounds could eventually rise to 16 but even that is the same fee as what we sold the man the myth the legend bolly for and he is already a better player already a younger player and already able to improve so much more than bolly ever could more versatile as well able to play in that right back position perfectly I think this man is a beautiful signing, going to be a really good player for you for the longest time. I don't see any reason why he's not going to be competing for Champions League starter spots when you're all the way up there next to Cody. That is your centre-back sorted for at least another four years. Let's see who else I've brought in. The next best signing is Nicolas Dominguez, and actually you could argue this is an even better signing based off the fact that he can play central midfield, CDM, and do them both perfectly he's got such well-rounded stats i'm sure you've all signed him at some point during football manager but he's already three and a half star current ability could eventually rise to four star he's just 23 years of age and the best part he comes in for 7.5 million pounds could eventually rise to 13.5 but even that is chump change for a man of this quality in real life he's looking like he's going to uh, turn into a really good player and in this save he's looking like he's going to turn into a really good player as i said incredibly well-rounded stats so that means he can play in just about any role you really want him to deep line playmaker mazala box to box and fielder you name it he can do it and he can do it with style. Dominguez, welcome to the club. He is going to be perfect next to Montinho, Neves, and now Dominguez. Oh my gosh. Montinho, Neves, Dominguez. Oh no, no, for some reason I thought that Moutinho's name start, ended with ears as well. But Neves and Dominguez, that, that's, that's a good combo. And your final signing is a bit more of a download one. You know, it's a good signing. Very good signing, I will say. But Remy Cabela... Probably not quite at the same height as the other two, but a three-star current ability, 31-year-old that has experience in the Premier League, who can play left wing, right wing, and cam, which I think is something I didn't identify as a position that we needed to improve upon until now, because we didn't really have a cam, so I just instantly decided we weren't going to use a cam, but now we can use a cam because of this signing. Can also play central midfield if you need him to as well, and the best part about him, he came in on a free. Yep, we were running low on funds. Actually, it was the first signing I made, but I knew we would be running low on funds. So for that reason, we brought in a free signing. I think this is probably the best free signing you could make for this uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers team. Three-star current ability, really good current ability, as well as some stats all over the place, meaning he is so versatile in so many different positions, worth 15 to 18 million pounds already as well. What a signing he is. Just as a rotation option, at the very least, he's going to be a great option. But I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be starting him or couldn't be starting him. I've just realised I've shown you them all with them in the under-23s. So I can't actually now show you the pro See, I, I send them to the under-23s so I can do that analysis thing. But sometimes I, I forget to return them from the under-23s. So we'll do that quickly. And then we'll show you my, my best 11 with this team now. Because it is, it is looking incredibly good with Dominguez in central midfield, Neves, Matinho, Mbemba, Cody, Semedo, Johnny, Sa, Pondence, Traore. Okay, Traore is online, but you know, you're probably going to be chucking, I don't know, Neto out on the right hand side when he comes back from injury because, you know, that potential is insane. Would be able to chuck Cabela out on the left hand side if you want to. If you want to move to a central attack and midfield formation, you might want to chuck Cabela in there as well with Jimenez up top, of course. I think I have done a really good job of turning this team into a team that can certainly push for Champions League and Europa League football in the first season with just three signings. 
after only having four million pounds to spend. And Bemba, Dominguez, Cabela, great signings. Go out and make them. You still have a wee bit of money left, and by a wee bit of money, I mean five thousand pounds worth of. But okay, I've used all the money, is what I'm trying to say here. But I've used it in very intelligent ways. And I hope that you have enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, smash the like button. Please go out and check out that Bayern Munich save. I'll see you all later.